What's going on, YouTube? Working on a little, another little build for the Vibe Kayak Seaghost right here. Uh, it's taken me longer than I want it to. I'll show you what the big, the hardest part's been so far. I'm trying not to drill any holes in my kayak. Had I just drilled holes and went on about it, I'd probably already be through. But I wanted to make it, this is going to be adjustable where I can put wheels on it. I hope. I may just build a cart that goes up underneath it, but I'm not going to build a scuffer plug cart that voids your warranty with vibe. And I don't want to do that. Drilling holes probably voids your warranty, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> All right, I'll come back and show you what's took the longest where I'm at right now. And I'll try to go step to step if I can. If I don't, you know, don't hate me for it. You can ask me in the comments what I did and where I did it and how I did it. We'll go from there. All right. These brackets right here. That right there took half a day yesterday. They start out as round brackets for two inch or two and a half inch round the whole pipe against the wall or something. Well, I don't have an anvil, so I had to build an anvil. I'll show you that here in a minute. <laughs> I'm finally getting that in there. Instead of using like some kind of stuff for kayaks, I went and got some five sixteenths inch carriage bolts an inch long. It's gonna be fastened in the track. I hope it doesn't tear the track up. We will find out. If it does, the track's replaceable. You don't have to drill any holes. That right there is my anvil. It's an anchor we use when we're crappie fishing on, long, on Lake of Pines. It'll hold you in the stout wind. And that's a school chair, like a cafeteria school chair that broke. I used to use my deer blinds. That worked great though. Redneck got a redneck sometimes. That right there that's held to the tracks is a piece of two inch aluminum square tubing. Just in case y'all are wondering, you can't just buy four foot of it and that's all I needed. Well, I bought 21 foot of it. That's what the sticks came in. <laughs> Any of y'all need a four foot section, y'all let me know and I'll mail you one for about 20 bucks. <laughs> Try to get some of my money back. Y'all can see I've got it figured out how to fasten to the tracks. And now I'm going to start building with the PVC. I'll show you that as we go. Alright, this right here is going to be my float. I'm going to have three quarter inch PVC going into this cap come up, it's going to tee off and go up to the, it'll have one inch slid in, I've got an adapter to do that, but y'all can see, I used all stainless steel everywhere, I, stainless steel or aluminum everywhere, and PVC, sucked it down tight, we're going to see how that works. Anybody that self films everything they do, I love them. I hate doing this. All right, I built this. It's gonna sit out here at water level. I'm gonna come up and go in there. I'll probably have it out. I don't know how far you gonna see. It's probably gonna be 18 inches from the end of the right here out. The first one's going slow because I'm having to make all the master parts the first time because I'm not good at fitting. I'm still going to have to trim just a little bit off of this one to get it to fit perfect. But I wanted y'all to see how I'm doing it because a lot of people that do these videos and they don't show anything.
All I got left to do is take that in apart, carbon copy it, put it on the other side. Build one for the other side. Maybe we won't flip next time. Not real sure. Alright, before I end the video, I'll tell y'all I'm sure there'll be more than me working on it. The brackets that are holding it down to the track, those were fabbed up by the one, the only James Buckner. I'm sure Cornbread's going to have some help in it. I still got to drill a hole and I'm going to have to borrow a drill bit from him because all I got is step bits right now. I can't find my other. I'm sure he'll come over and drill the hole. I hope this helps somebody. I hope it helps me. I ain't trying to flip my cold water again. A day or two we ought to have it down the lake and see how it works. Ah! Right. I hope y'all gonna like these kayak videos. I hope I like bringing them to you. <laughs> I try to give you a rundown of all the parts I used in the description. I tell you right now, I use two inch square tubing aluminum to go from track to track, extend out on the side. There's a reason I did that. Old fat boy might want to put him a trolling motor on here one day, hang it right off that two inch square tubing. That's my theory. All right, I use one inch PVC coming out of the tubing, which I think I should have went with instant quarter, and I might go back and go with that. Come down to a reducer from the one inch, elbowed it down, 90 it down, came down to a reducer to three quarter, and all the stuff attached to the float is three quarter, all this schedule 40. Hadn't glued it yet. We'll do that soon. I'm not going to show y'all that. That's the boring part. Alright. Y'all know the rest. Like, share, subscribe. And what else, y'all? We gone.